Okay, fools. What's up? It's Beetlejuice here. I'm at Wendy's, meeting some fucking Wendy's. You know, you know what I'm saying? Those pepper ranch. That shit's fire. Spicy nuggets. That shit's fire. Fries. They're pretty good. Um, can't tell if they're better than McDonald's or not, but um, I would have to like try them side by side. Then again, it's also kind of due to the fact that there's so much MSG, it's like, oh my god, I love this crack. Well, anyways, I haven't recorded a video, and um, I want to edit a video, but I am so fucking lazy and uninspired. Um, but I just wanted to record a video to look at this sign. Look at this fucking sign, dude. It says, it says, dreams this good never last. What the fuck? That's depressing as fuck, dude, like... I'm just, I'm coming to Wendy's just to eat me, you know, a little, a little, a little snack, you know what I mean? And now, now I'm just sad. Like I just looking at this dreams, this good never last. It's just making me realize the, the, the futility of life. And I just wanted to eat at Wendy's. So I don't know. It's just crazy. Um, but anyways, uh, I want to record this video to, to kind of update you guys on my life right now. Because I, I think uh, shit is about to go down and change very soon. Um, uh, basically, uh, uh, basically, um, um, oh, I, I got a vanilla sprite and then i mixed it with peach sprite because they have the fucking flavor machine and shit y'all know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm talking about all right I, I bet you do well anyways um i'm gonna have to move out of my grandparents soon because i've lived there for a while and i um you know they offered to uh, to make me stay or to help me stay or what am i trying to say um they offer to let me stay as long as I work five days a week. But the thing is, finding the job that I have right now was so difficult. It literally took me like months just to get an interview. You know what I mean? So in this town, finding a job, let alone keeping one, is uh, is very difficult because of the population density, I guess, being so low. Unless I worked at some place like, you know, fucking Wendy's. Um which doesn't even have that many people. So that just says a lot to me. Like that just says, if I'm not working at a meat or cheese plant, I'm literally gonna be making below minimum wage. And I mean, as much as that doesn't really matter to me, money is just fake and stupid. Um, I've saved up enough at this point where I need to get the fuck out of my grandparents' house because, um. You know, if the expectations are just going to keep rising and I'm, I'm going to keep like, you know, walking around eggshells to to, you know, appeal to their old people's sensibilities, like I'm never going to be free. It's always just going to be like one step from freedom. Like you have freedom, but but so my solution is I'm either going to share rent with one of my friends in Texas or I'm going to live in my car and shower at the gym. And to be honest, no matter how it works out, I'm not coming back here. I'm not going to, um... Hey, check out my cheek uh, my, <laughs> my cheek game. My keychain, real quick, it's pretty cool. I got the Necromancer from uh, Castle Crashers. We love the behemoth. Um, got this like little Frankenstein bitch. Got this cool thing. Um, I got the, the booty roaches. Let me show y'all. Yeah, isn't that cool? Dead roaches. Um, but yeah, basically my life is either going to get really difficult um, or really fun. Uh, uh, my my dad did say he I could stay at his place temporarily between me getting an apartment and stuff but like i said if that doesn't work out um i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna live with my dad for that long like 
because then it's just going to be the same thing. It's like freedom, but you know, it's the illusion of freedom. Like they're, they're trying to convince you that you have freedom, but they're applying their rules to you. So, I mean, like, you know, I don't want to live with some other person, even if it's free, um, because I would literally rather live by my own rules and suffer than, uh, than live with old people and try and, and try and pander to their fucking old people ways. Um, but anyways, that's basically all I really have to say. Uh, kind of lost my appetite, but I guess I'll eat this nugget. This nugget. This nugget. Didn't look kind of... This nugget. Nugget. If you say it really fast, it sounds weird. Mm. Yeah. That's life, you know. Sometimes life is going so good. Or, I mean, so passable. That, like, you forget that it's missing things. It's missing crucial parts of life because you're surrounding yourself with with people who just want to, like, change you and make you into a different person. Um, and even though this part of my family is, like, liberal-leaning, I'm not really a political person, but they're liberal-leaning and they're more supportive of trans people, um, like... What was I trying to say? Even though they're more supportive of trans people, it still feels like they don't really understand me very much. So I clearly lucked out in the family department. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I love my family. It's not really their fault. It's more so my fault for being autistic and having standards for myself. Um, and I just don't like when people's expectations are pushed onto me. So no matter what, unless I'm, you know just some completely other place away from them, uh, there will be no freedom. And yeah, that's basically the gist of what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was just a little rant. Um, and I'm going to drive back. And by the time that I move out, I'm going to um, which is going to be like in a while. It's not going to be like super soon, but you know, pretty soon. Um, I'm going to cram all my shit in my car. I just got uh, fucking vacuum seal bags. I'm going to fit all my clothes in that shit because I have a lot of fucking clothes. Um, and I, I think I'll store some of them, but because I just, I want to have the bare necessities, but also I kind of want to, you know, use as much space as I, as I can because I want, um, I want my shit still. Uh, but basically, yeah. Um, in like a month, once the semester's over, because I'm doing community college, it's gay. Um, that will be going to use. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know when I'm I'm done with that. And also expect a, a compilation of me in, in, in Texas with my friends at some point in the next uh, week or two.